So I saw this post here. I didn't read it yet, but I saw this, and I thought to myself, you know what, this, this is probably going to be good, so we'll see. So let me get this straight. Polarium did all of these nerfs to champions, builds, and buffs to Hydra in order to, according to them, bring down Trunda as an outlier, as well as increase diversity, again, underline that, increase diversity in teams, and yet now taunt teams ally attack teams, strong nukers with multi-hit abilities, Yannicka, Wixwell, deserved on this one but still, are all significantly less viable and everyone in general is just doing less damage. In general. He said in general twice. That's fine, I do that too sometimes. And the kicker, Trunda, te <laughs> Trunda teams are still by far the best by a large marge sorry i got distracted by my cat um fuck what was i saying trunda teams are still the best by a large margin while many previously competitive teams suck now by comparison how did we get the opposite of team diversity without even fixing the biggest outlier they set out to fix someone help me understand what they're thinking because this seems like a lose-lose I don't think people are going to spend more money. I don't think so either. Not uh, him saying this, I, I'm me talking to you guys. I don't think people are going to spend more money. Because why? Why chase champions now? I mean, <laughs> the average player, right? I'm not talking Krakens or Whales. Why bother throwing $300 for a champion that one is unlikely to get? Not unheard of. You know, there's always a chance, but still... For the great majority of the average player base, there's no, in my opinion, I could be wrong, as always, you're welcome to disagree, like, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think anybody's going to spend any money, because why, why spend money chasing a champion for them to get cucked and nerfed? It doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense. Polarium. I don't mean the players, it's not really the players' fault. People spend money how they want. But Polarium, come on, man. And I think they made the game mode way worse. Absolutely. I've already contacted, I've already talked to um, my clans. And I'm pulling out both of my my accounts um, from those clans and just going to a, a, a small baby clan that doesn't require me to do Hydra. I'm not doing Hydra anymore. So after this rotation's up and after Siege is done for this rotation, I'm not, I'm just not doing it. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna bother doing Hydra anymore. Uh, let me log into my, my account. Uh, you know, I, I just haven't been doing pretty much anything on my, uh, on my raid accounts, on my main or my alt account. I run it on my phone sometimes when I'm like doing like before I came here I was actually watching a YouTube video um about Terrifier 3 have you, have you guys seen that show movie Terrifier 3 or any of the Terrifier series I saw the first one it was kind of like whoa then I saw the second one and I was just like whoa and now I'm watching the third one and I'm like whoa let me let me explain to you something that this guy does and this is a pretty gory like unhinged completely demonic literally demonic way of um going about murdering somebody but this guy you can skip ahead like about like about 30 seconds or something this guy ties this person up gets a big clear pipe shoves it down this person's throat all the way down there hammers it in and then puts rats down the pipe into the person's throat and then lights a fire on the open end so that the rats have to escape down into that person's throat and you know rats if you've seen other movies if they feel like they're threatened they're going to dig through anything anyway yeah that was just one of the things that they did and i was like oh my god i gotta watch this movie now what does that say about me i don't know but uh, I don't, I don't know i don't think anything's wrong with me but it's one of those things where it's just like it's this it's completely demented but it's also something that i just can't like bring myself to look away from see i haven't even done like my my dailies i don't even 
dailies reset like over over tw um, about 12 hours ago. I don't even really bother logging in anymore. I just yeah. So that that's sorry. I, that was a huge tangent to get away from this initial topic. But yeah, there is no logic in Polarium's head. Just money. With Wix will change, I was expecting a bigger community reaction. He was the only champ that we select for skills. And if we compare him with Trunda, he was doing better, or he was doing 10 times less damage. They don't nerf him the same way as Trunda, Trunda because Trunda is now at least 5 times better than the next best team. However, Wix will Yannick is not totally ruined. They just don't want free to play champions to be too strong, and people still give money for this game. Yeah, that's what I don't get. If, if they care about money, it really just feels like changes would make less champs viable and therefore less reasons to spend, especially since I think it's gotten to a point where the most recent change, where I feel like a lot of people no longer enjoy and want to push Hydra, and will, oh wait, with, my bad, to the point with the most recent change where I feel like a lot of people no longer enjoy and want to push Hydra, low effort from now on, or just completely not do it, right? So, in, in a way, it's not going to make a huge difference because I'm probably like one of the few people that are only going to do this. I'm not doing Hydra at all. I'm, I don't care about the rewards. I'm not hitting. I'm not even going to get the, the, the minimum chess because this is the only way Polarium will listen. By looking at their numbers and not seeing the engagement, the numbers. That's what they look at. That's all they care about. They don't care about our plights. They don't care about yours. They don't care about your support tickets, obviously. They don't care about the CC's opinions. Well, the memory back up there. They hear the CC's opinions. Sometimes. Polarium or Platinum will offer you Juicy five, uh, 15x on Trunda soon as a solution. The thing is, whales and CCs really want to nerf Trunda teams because, as you said, Trunda is old, a lot of people have her, so it means normal people could gain rewards from Hydra. All they want is to have their Teox, uh, Teox teams, for an example, to be the best because those are the real pay to win teams. Yeah. According to Reddit, you don't need Yumiko, you don't need a plus four Trunda, all you need is Trunda, just press auto when you do billions of damage on Nightmare Hydra. That's not true. As someone who only has Trunda, I can promise you this is false. If you're tr And just to put this in perspective, I have Trunda and I have Yumiko. And no. There's, there's a lot more that goes into it. And it's beyond me. And it's beyond my care. So I'm not going to bother building, rebuilding another Trunda team. Like, I, I'm done. I'm done building new new teams because they keep re reworking shit. I keep reworking my, my Hydra teams. It's, it's, I'm done. Put simply, they never intended to fix Trunda. They wanted everyone that hasn't wheeled out on her to be doing less damage and get fewer rewards in both Hydra and original CB to try and force people to spend more this is exactly what they planned on doing. Not some mix-up or mistake, it's intentional. This is exactly the true reason. I don't believe it's intentional. I don't disbelieve it's intentional, intentional, but I don't know, it seems really stupid. Not that that's their goal, but this seems like a stupid way to achieve said goal. Uh, goal. Trenda, sorry, I get so distracted and like the smallest thing can distract me and I just stop reading and I start thinking about something else. Trunda has been a really good champ for literal years. Okay, let's move on from that. The fix to Trunda, the first fix to Trunda made all my other teams do personal best. Yeah, that was weird, right? The first time they fixed it, all of my teams went up in damage. I'm free to play. Only chance I have to get the 1.2 billion rewards is my Trunda. Now she's old. Most people have Trunda. The other OP teams like Teox, Whales are constantly begging for Trunda nerfs because they know more people have them and they want to feel like they're getting better than the rest. I don't see, if this is true, where whales and CCs want Trunda to get nerfed because the whales and CCs want to feel like they're better, if that's true, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if it's true, but it doesn't make any sense to me because I've always been the type to like want everybody to come up because I grew up with, and it could be because I'm fucking Asian, but with Asian culture, it's like, if one of us goes up, we're all going up, all right? You you help people around you and the entire community goes up and we all continue to, to, to grow, to go up. So that's the mentality I grew up with. And that was further perseverated 
and encouraged when I joined the military because the military is is has never been about being a fucking individual. It's always been about the entire machine. Now that there's there's kind of you know I'm not saying it's perfect, right? But the military was all always about one team, one fight. Look out for your shipmates. Don't fail your shipmates. Make sure that you're succeeding together. That whole mentality, right? We're working together as a unit. This doesn't make sense when I see people who want to gatekeep anything that could benefit everybody, especially when the purpose is. And again, I don't know if this is what they're going for. If that's what they actually want. I'm a CC. I want everybody to come up. But if this is the case, I'd be curious to see which which uh, content creators or whales he's talking about that like explicitly say that they want to be feel better than the rest. So I, I don't know. Uh, what if I told you those people also want to have a balanced Hydra clash? She got pretty quick. One team could do 200 bill, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Trenda sucks. Uh, probably would have said, of course, they want easy wins every week. I'm not bitter. Yeah, I mean, everybody wants an easy win. But in raid, there, there's no way you're going to get a win every single time. You're, you're just not going to do it, right? It's um, it, it's like you're, you're always going to have an uphill battle. You're always going to come up across somebody who's just got a better account, better RNG, a better wallet. That's just the way that it is. Or maybe not even a better wallet. Maybe they just have better credit or more credit than you, or maybe they're more willing to spend and go into debt for, um, you know, the next meta champion. Again, no judgment. Y'all spend your money how you want. You are your own man or woman, or, um, you know, insert others there respectfully. They didn't need to touch the champions at all. In order to fix Wixpool and Yannicka Cheese, change head of mischief. That's all, they need. That's all they needed to do. That is all they needed to do. Make it so that the head does not steal a fully grown shield. Instead, make it steal the shield that was initially granted by Wixwill. There. I just fixed it for them. So, I don't know if it's because Polarium's just really good at blowing smoke. But every time we have some issue and every time people or the community says something like there i just fixed it for them polarium always has something like oh it's not that simple the uh, tech technicalities game development type stuff again i'm not a game developer i don't know anything about programming or anything so i would be none the wiser now maybe they're banking on that maybe they're you know doing polarium tactics and everything but i don't know like is it is it really a fix like this, realistically, think about this. Would this have been a fix? I'm not saying that this guy is wrong. I'm just saying I don't know. Because every time we bring up something to the community or to um, Polarium, there's always something along the lines of, oh, it's not, it's not feasible right now. We're limited by the technology of our time <laughs> type shit. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Or they could have capped his shield in Hydra only rather than doing it across the board. The shield was only a problem in a problem. <laughs> fucking Asian in me, bro. Uh, the shield was only a problem. The shield was only a problem in Hydra. No one cares about his cap everywhere else in the game. Because it doesn't affect other areas like it does Hydra. Because it's not PvP, exactly. Instead, they changed Wickville. Wick, 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 a chance. Instead, they changed Wixwill, a champion we voted the skills for which screwed up a lot of people's clan boss teams. Keep in mind, they continue to com uh, completely avoid changing reset champs. Uh, by the way, if you can't tell, I'm not really going to bother editing this too much besides putting background music, but I'm not going to um, do too many cuts here to remove a bunch of the ums and, you know, extra stuff. Um, yeah. Which, enable, which enables Trunda to do what she does until they nerf champions like Yumiko in that mode. Trunda will be... Oh, well, she's going to be the queen of Hydra, yeah. She's still the queen. She's been the queen. 
They wanted to fix it while keeping Trunda teams top tier, but without doing 10 times more than your average team. But they failed and now they're messing it up further by trying while trying to fix Hydra. I'm only giving them a pass because they finally addressed Hydra, though really not a fan of how they went about it. Everybody asked for champ nerfs instead of asking for a soft cap on damage. Now everybody gets fucked, but the champ they wanted to nerf is just fine. Yeah. He's right. He's right. A lot of people were crying for, you know, and you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I agree. I, I do believe that nerfs needed to happen or a rebalancing needed to happen for certain areas of the game. But at the same time, knowing how Polarium is, you know what to expect. So again, we're right back at, you know, the circle of everything in Polarium. You ask for one thing, they monkey paw it. They give you what you want, but they didn't give it to you exactly how you wanted. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. You know what I mean? So, I'm I'm so burned out and over it that I I, I even went on um Sam Solstice's video and I was being I, I like I was I was candid I was straight up honest her her her, her, la her latest video I was straight up just like I, I'm not even really like enjoying making content for Raid anymore. Like what 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 is there to for me to do? Like I, I'll admit I've I've been in, I've been enjoying doing live arena kind of right if i come across bots or anything i'm just gonna leave now i'm not gonna like trip over it i'm gonna take the l go about my day save everybody time including myself sure that guy can take the win whatever but like what am i gonna do Real realistically what what can i do like you guys want me to pull shards well i don't i don't buy shards these are all saved so like i i can only do like one summoning video Sorry, two, three, maybe if I log into my other accounts. There's not really anything here for me to do. I've done a bunch of champion guys. There's still one on Rotos that I want to do because I have the thumbnail. I, I had an artist draw a thumbnail. Let me see if I could find it. Draw a thumbnail for Rotos that I've been meaning to do for like the longest time. But every time that I come around to it, and I, I and I want to start making the the champion guide for it. I, I kind of just like feel a little. What's the word? Like not motivated for it. But but this is the this is the thumbnail that I had him draw for me, and I thought it was really cool. And I guess for for the most part, it's just because I wanted to see Rotos drawn for me. You, you know what I mean? Um, but realistically, there's like 20, 50 videos talking about how to build Rotos. So there's that. I mean, I'll probably do it because I already paid for it, right? But yeah, Rotos is my favorite champion, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm going on this tangent again. But yeah, it's like, what am I going to do? I, I like I've done all the dungeon runs. I've, I've shown I've done videos on how to do how to do all the dungeons. I've, um, you know, kind of did my PVP thing slash doing my P my PVP thing. I've done some clan boss things, but it's not, I didn't even hit clan. Oh wait, it reset. The time change is messing me up. But it's like, what's the point in doing um, um, a clan boss thing when there's like Deadwood Jedi and a bunch of other people who can just do it better than I can. And then Hydra, Hydra was like the last thing that I really enjoyed, sort of. Like I, I'll admit, I still enjoyed making making certain teams, like messing around with new champions and trying them out. There's nothing for me in Doom Tower. Cursed City is cool here and there, I guess. And then Siege, right? So like realistically, what am I gonna do? When I move to um, the smaller account, look, I, I might just keep doing Live Arena and I might just sit here doing uh, Reddit. Cause it's, it's relatively, it's fun in the sense that I can just sit here and talk and react to content. It's easy to do. And it still helps me keep a pulse on on everything that's going on. But I mean, it's all pretty much the same thing, at least right now. But just constant backshots from Polarium is 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 tiring, right? I've started playing King Arthur more often, um, but 
I'm not fully all in on King Arthur yet, just because I really want to play other games that aren't mobile gacha style games. And I've been able to do that. So um, for my other channel, I've been working on playing actual video games. So after this, I'm going to go play a, a horror game called Soma. And uh, that's going to be pretty fun. I'm expecting it to be pretty fun. Probably dive into that for like a good five, six hours. But yeah, um, the thing, the thing, the interesting thing is like, I look at Raid and it's like, I've spent six years, approaching six years playing Raid, spent thousands of dollars. And by the end of it all, I just don't know how I feel about it anymore. It used to be this wheel that I enjoyed running on and I was happy to because the content was like, I could confidently say back then, like, oh, um, it's it's good. You know, you've got this, 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 and this, and maybe I'm just jaded. Maybe I've just run my course with Raid, but I don't feel like I I did before when it comes to, to, to even playing the game or making content for Raid. So that's why, at least for now, I'm just gonna do Live Arena, uh, Reddit Reacts, and, um, you know, the odd thing here and there, and then, I think at least once a week I'll do like some King Arthur stuff. But yeah, sorry for that huge tangent. If you're still here rocking with me, I totally appreciate you for just listening to me yap and talk. Um, but yeah, let's let's uh, let's continue here. I can't wait for the Armands and Arena rework. They're probably not gonna nerf Armands for another. I'd say when did he come out? Earlier this year. So I'd say maybe like another year and a half. Another year and a half, then they're gonna come out with actual nerfs for Armands. Right, because that's usually the case. Taurus and Mariska went on rampant for about two years. Before that, what was the, the next thing? Fucking Trunda was uh, rampant ever since like the beginning. So that was going on for a while. Uh, Armand at least feels like he should have higher cooldowns. Yeah, he should. So that if he managed to survive the initial abilities, you have a good chance to get back into the fight. There is no reason why a single champion should be knocking the wind out of an entire of an, enti of an entire fucking team. Oh my god! I, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten in, I've gotten to a um, altercation with Armands, and like I clap his entire team, but he still lives. It could be reaction. It could be swift parry. It could be because he was in stone skin. But he ends up taking that turn, that A2 pops off, and I am done. I'm sitting there waiting, like, especially when it's on auto, I'm done. It's just getting sheeped and then coming back to life, and getting sheeped, coming back to life. And when you come back to life, you come up, or when you come back to your normal form, you have half life left. So, yeah. Where are you getting this information from? Can you share a screenshot, please? Right there. There is another quote from a Raid Digest as well, found in the same spot a while later, where they say it, Hydra, shouldn't be easily defeated by relying on a few specific champions or mechanics. What doesn't make sense to me is that they say that they encourage the player base to come out with different ways to tackle and approach game content. But at every fucking turn, they want to stonewall us, right? Again, I can kind of understand Hydra and Wixwill. I'm like, I, I understand, okay? But then they go off and start doing a bunch of other shit. Like what? Why, why did you finesse all this bullshit? What is this? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? God damn it, my channel just feels like Jay Giggs. I just feel like I'm complaining all the time. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh, Jay Giggs is ahead of the game, dude. Uh, good players still rely on the same exact trend of teams. Uh, here you are, a post from the... Okay, so he's going ham on it, like, providing the sources. In the release, they said Hydra was not supposed to work like that. In fact, in effect, they said, and taking how they say set up the game with the Mercy system... What, what did he say here? English is kind of weird. In effect, they said... And they, t anyway, pretty much the game's like a casino. You're not supposed to beat the house. 
It doesn't matter if the damage is 5 billion or 55 billion, Trunda is still doing 5 to 10 times as much as the next best team. And you just reduce the total to make it harder for people to get their chest and make the people who are just getting the easy chest on Hydra not even bother trying. Yeah. Like, why would you, why, why, would, why would people even bother trying, right? Why would somebody, especially right now with these back-to-back -back nerfs, maybe they're just trying to pump out all these nerfs right now and just get it all out of the way while everybody's still mad. I don't know. And then they do the Live Arena Advance Quest thing. Like, they're just doing all of this right here at the end of the year. Well, I, I don't know what the timing is here, but yeah, everything's piling up. And then they're going to give us... Um, and then they're going to give us another carrot, right? They're going to come out with something and everybody's going to be all happy and all okay with Polarium again. I tell you, man, every time Polarium does something, hands out a carrot, you best be sure that the stick follows. You hear me? With the carrot comes a stick. Please change live arena quest. How fast is your fastest champion? Enemy max HP. Is this normal in bronze? Should I make another account and start again? Nog. What the fuck? What was that? Wait. What does he do? What is that? Fucking Nogdar. That's funny, dude. That's been um, happening to me too. In in um in arena, like you'll attack somebody and the health bar is still there. It's at empty, but they're still standing up. But they're dead and not taking turns. But they're dead. It's just, it's a bug. Gear upgrade discount. What else do we have here? Clan boss reset time. Uh, all of these Reddit posts are always like, please help. Help me build this team. Who do I 60 next? And it's like all of these could just be YouTubed or Googled instead of waiting for somebody to, to answer. I've started to just block all of these people because it's excessive. You might think, oh, well, they're just asking for help, but... Again, it just takes, you know, a quick YouTube search. I guess the, the who to 60 next is a little bit more specific, but at the same time, it kind of just, it kind of calls upon the player to learn how to play the game. And that's basically it. You need to evaluate your own. I'm not going to talk about it. I, I've said this so many times. Relaxing place for all tired veterans. I'm trying to see if there's anything more about Hydra. Hydra CB teleported into gold 5 with 3200 arena points. Who to 6 star next? Who to book next? Mountain Dew. Uh, help me build this. Hel again, Hydra team building, cruising. Famous words. When you when you're win when you win streak so hard you make it to gold 4 live arena for the first time. Yeah. Don't win streak. He's going up against <laughs> Good luck. Oh, I saw that earlier. Um, let's see. Hit him where it hurts in the Google reviews. What's this? Hold up. After spending more than a year playing and spending money in the game, I can say the devs constantly find ways to screw the players. The recent changes to Hydra are crap. Oh, here we go. So this guy is complaining on Google. They've lost my trust and a lot of players trust. Polarium destroys champions. Players have put hundreds of dollars, hundred plus dollars and hundreds of hours into exactly they are greedy and this is a heavy gambling app with a lot of dark patterns i'm surprised the bbb hasn't i almost said bbl druzy hasn't had them course correct more than more pop-ups than <laughs> more pop-ups than a 95 internet explorer oh my god don't start this game yeah, exactly. More pop-ups than a 95 Internet Explorer, dude. What does this guy say? Yeah, he dated himself. What the <laughs> okay. <laughs> dude, I, I don't know what the kids are saying at work anymore. The kids at work are saying shit like Skibbity Riz, Ohio, uh, um, no cap. I know what no cap means. That means no lie. But yeah, they're saying like Rizzler, Skibbity Riz, Skibbity... Yeah, I don't know what they're saying. It's it's weird. And then they're all talking about Ohio and then they continue to use Mole Woods. It's, it's weird. Um, but yeah, they don't care. I've switched over to so many negative... I've switched over to so many negative reviews and some generic... Tell us what we can make better. Thanks, responses always follow. That's funny. 
It's funny that Polarium responds to these negative reviews by saying, tell us what we can do to make it better. When they literally have CCs on YouTube going to the stars and yapping, right? At this point, we all have like a doctorate in yapology. And they still have the nerve to ask, what can they do to make things better? Bro, we've been telling you. I wish I could care about this. I wish I could care this much about any of my hobbies. I just take the game for what it is and casually enjoy them. Shit, son. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? That that's a that's definitely a good stance to have. So, see you on tonight then. <laughs> True, bro. True. Recently got into this game. I'm seeing this storm unfold. I hope it gets better. The, t the game tends to be one step forward and two steps back. I would argue three steps back. Fun and enjoyable. Don't forget the carrot and the stick. But some of the roadblocks are sheer will to grind or pay. Late game is losing me. Yeah. And don't let Reddit or YouTube cloud your outlook if you enjoy the game. Yeah, absolutely. Just because you have like 50 CCs all saying the same thing doesn't necessarily mean that you have to say the same thing too right this last change affected a small part of the player base i don't know take my account save yourself the grind if you don't want it i'll take a look at it there's plenty to enjoy early game but polarium is really digging themselves into a hole with the most recent updates and you know i think this is this is true early game you might have a different experience because they're just throwing everything at you for an example I, i've like i said i've started playing king arthur um, I haven't, again, I haven't delved too deeply into it because I'm still, you know, but they're throwing a lot of rewards at me and they're doing a pretty good job, I think, at making me feel progression. I'm waiting for the point where I'm going to be like, okay, well, now I'm in the entering mid game where I'm like, okay, what do I, what do I do next? Right. A lot of people go through that, through that, where they're just like, all right, well, what do I do next? That's probably going to happen in King Arthur too. There's enough back, uh, backlash. There's enough backlash, though, that they will likely, though, that they will likely. Oh, there's enough backlash, though, that they will likely do some very positive things towards the end of the year and hope people will forget about the bullshit. Yeah, that's, that's what they're going to do. I appreciate your effort. I've gone and given my low review in solidarity because we can all do our part. Sadly, these types of protests still amount to little when you have folks on this sub casually mentioning they dropped 8k to chase a champ and didn't that they didn't even get and then shrug it off exactly because we can complain all we want but again it's all about the numbers whether it's engagement or money as we all know whales are the only group they listen to true and that amounts to less than this says greater than right here this says greater than greater than am i stupid hold on let me let me let me make sure greater than right yep yeah no i'm not i'm not stupid greater than 0.5 percent of the player base whales are the only group they listen to so whales are greater than 0.5 percent of the player base am i misunderstanding this correctly or am i is it like are things going over my head i, I don't know it's like the changes requiring live arena whales need more scrubs to beat on to make them feel better about their whaling why is everybody always just like, oh, the other person wants to feel better about themselves? Is it is it always the case? I don't know. So the other other 99% are led to the slaughterhouse for their entertainment. It doesn't even matter if, like whenever I, because I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel good whenever I beat up somebody who's in live arena, when I go up against somebody who's at a, a lower level than I am. I don't feel good about that. I don't feel pretty much anything other than that. Other, other than, yeah, okay, this is another win to log in. And I can get my, my library in a chest and get the Marius mission out of the way. I don't feel good about... Like, what's what's good to, to feel good about? Or what is there to get, to feel good about? There's nothing to feel good about beating on somebody who's, quote-unquote, smaller than you. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's, like, it's like you should just, you know... If you want to feel good about beating somebody in a game, either pick on somebody your own size or pick on somebody bigger. But don't pick on somebody smaller, because that doesn't really 
give you anything. At least it does, for me, it doesn't give me any type of um, vindication of my skills or whatever. Or lack thereof. If you saw my last live arena battle, I lost to like three in a row. Lower level accounts. Damn mythicals. It doesn't even matter if thousands of us quit because churn is a normal part of free-to-play games. They just put more money into advertising to gain more newbies to slaughter and up the meager rewards for the invite a friend to make us their unpaid salespeople. In those cases, lots and lots of one-star reviews can help discourage, but they won't. At you, I don't think you guys understand, or maybe you guys do, but I'm willing to bet a great chunk percentage of people don't understand the power of advertisements. Like advertisements are huge. That's why ad companies spend so much money to advertise their games on like YouTube or like BetterHelp, or even if you just go outside on the billboards, anywhere. And this isn't something new. This has been this has been the case for like a long time, right? Companies have money to spend. They have a budget, a huge budget set aside for sponsorships. And that's because it works. The more you see something, the more likely that eventually you might just check it out, right? It's like a YouTube video. You ever get recommended a YouTube video and you don't click it? But you constantly see it again and again and again and again and again and it's advertised and pushed to you again and again and again and again until finally you do click it. It worked. If that's you, it worked because it's worked on me a few times, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter if that... Oh, wait, we just read that. You know BBB isn't an... <laughs> BBB isn't an authority. You can literally pay them for a good rating. I didn't know that. BBB is more of a shame of the company thing. No teeth. They said, uh, that said BBB can complaint can be productive. Okay. Guess they can't handle the truth when it's posted in one star reviews. I haven't logged back in since the Hydra changes. I think my clan kicked me. Mudkip's biggest fan. That's a funny name. The only place it hurts is their pockets. Still bad reviews are better than nothing. Personally, I made an in-game ticket to tell them how they took all the fun. They, they're not going to look at that ticket. They have an automated system for their in-game support thing. It's like, I, I think they... I don't even know if they, there's somebody behind there actually responding. I'm pretty sure it's an automated response. Hopefully, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up in their metrics. Now, the only the only metrics they care about are the numbers. So glad I quit. They refuse to help me. And honestly, they go. I hope they go bankrupt. Do you think they're going to bankrupt? I don't know. Spent way too much for those morons to screw me out of my Siffy. Fuck raid. How do they screw you out of Siffy? I pulled her on a 10x chance event, so I put her in my vault for safekeeping. When it's time to take her out, suddenly she's gone. Support refused to assist in that. What? I had screenshots for when I pulled her on the date of everything. Told me it was out of hand. Yeah, they conned me out of my shit. Is that a thing? Why would you put her straight in the vault to begin with? I don't know. I don't know about that. That review lost my attention when it mentioned spending money on the game. Let's see. Stop playing it if it hurts so much. A bad review ain't doing shit. Uh, he's, he's not wrong. Just stop playing. Just quit. I wish I, I, wish I could have that, that whatever you want to call it, to just quit. But, you know, baby steps. You really think they care about what reviews say? Nah. If they cared a little bit about what the players think, they wouldn't do half the things that they're doing. You're screaming into the void. Nobody cares. We say, fuck you, Polarium. And Polarium responds, <laughs> Fuck you too! Woo!